you're going to give this guy a little tug. If it's on there, real good, just give a couple taps with a rubber mallet or something. Uh, that gasket might be holding it. And again, we're going to be gentle taking this off. So I'm going to reach underneath, I'm going to grab that chain, make sure it does not fall in there. So I'm going to set this off to the side now, and we're ready to remove our cylinder again. I'm at top dead center, I'm going to check our flywheel, and we still are. So this one might need a little love to get out, so I'm going to go grab a rubber mallet. Alright, I'm back with my persuader. So I know it's at top dead center. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give it a couple whacks. One thing I forgot to mention, again, there's two more spacers here. So uh, one on this top corner and one on this bottom corner. And what these do is make sure that your head and your cylinder is aligned right. So pull those off. Again, good thing to take a picture of as you're moving on. There we go. Just two little tiny simple whacks gave it let it free so let's work it out of there now remember it's holding your piston so um, you know you're just going to want to be gentle another thing to remember is is make sure you don't go out of top dead center so if you can see here where my hand is I'm going to kind of hold the flywheel too I'm going to make sure that I stay in top dead center okay and then I'm going to reach around now that I'm out of the piston I'm going to hold that chain and let it drop down. All right, here we are, guys. Now, I mentioned that the chain tensioner was needed to come off, and there it is. That's what I just pulled out. And there's that tensioner, and we're going to get to that in a second. Just, it's okay that that came out. This top one's going to stay in, okay? Don't touch it. It shouldn't pull out or anything, but nonetheless, just let it be. All right, all you Rouse Motor fans, uh, this can be incredible hard for you to see, but I'm going to do the best I can. A um, couple things I want to point out right away. I don't know if you'll be able to see this yet, but on the piston, on the top here, it says in. And it's actually upside down as you look at it, but it says in, I-N. Um, that is the intake, so we want to make sure that that in is up top. Um, and then right in here, let me get up pliers, and then right... Oops, sorry. I'm trying to get where you can see right here in this hole is a simple pin or clip that we have to get out. And it's not necessarily easy, but um, but we'll do it. And I'm going to try to get you positioned so you can see the best you can. Nothing about it's going to be good, but we'll try our best here. I have replacement pins, so honestly I'm not too worried about damaging the pin. I just don't want to damage anything else. So. Looks like I'm starting to make some headway here. And there it pulled out. And there it is. So at this point, I can set my pin down and I'm going to dispose of that. I wouldn't use it again in an engine. From this point, we're going to be able to hopefully slide our connecting pin through it. So we're going to find something to do that with. I got a little piece of it there. I'm going to try to grab it, pull it out. There we go. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Got a little piece of it, and here it comes. And we just got out enough to pull past the engine, or past the uh, connecting rod, and there's our old piston. So we'll slide that in there. 